Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World, and welcome to the weekly reset video. It is Wednesday evening, and even though there's really nothing new <laughs> to talk about, um, I want to go over the weekly reset, what we've gotten this week. Uh, what just happened this week and then we're gonna be talking a little bit uh, this is gonna turn into a little bit of a let's talk slash rant about the recent bugs the changes the hitches the exploits the glitches all that I want to talk about all of that with you guys but first before I do that thank you I, I know I say this in a lot of my videos but guys thank you very much everyone who is using my Sorry, it's over there. To everyone who's using my supporter creator code over there, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. You guys are just, you guys are incredible. Thank you so much. You have no idea what an incredible thing is. And also thank you to Epic Games for creating the supporter creator program. It's a wonderful program for content creators uh, to be helped along by them and by you guys. And for those of you who might not know what the uh, Supporter Career Program is, basically it's a system where if you guys go ahead and let's say and save the world, if you, oh, let's check out my llamas too for today. It's not a bad llama. What about this one? Ooh, that's an interesting llama. 500 V-Bucks though? Oh man, let's see. Uh, this Tsunami has Affliction, but I already have one with Affliction. This Pummeler has Headshot. Um, if I, if there was, you know what, they're, they're still trying to give me the vendor tech sword. Still trying to give me the vendor tech sword. <coughs> um, I'm not going to buy any of these, but anyway, for those of you who don't know, if you spend V-Bucks, if you spend like, let's say if you were to buy a legendary troll slash llama right now, and you have someone as your supporter creator, like right up here, then that person for every 10,000 V-Bucks that you spend, that person will get from Epic Games five dollars which is amazing and honestly guys i know ten thousand v bucks is a lot and it sounds like not that much you know but every little bit helps so from the bottom of my heart seriously thank you if you guys don't have a supporter creator i i need a graphic i need a graphic why not why not the uj2 uh, <laughs> uh but you just hit over here that way down 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 there you click on the supporter creator, you type in the person's name, you hit accept. If you hit the view approved creators list, you will actually be able to see over 10,000 people who are in the supporter career program. And if you have a favorite content creator, if you have someone that you watch streaming or someone that you follow on Twitter or something, ask them, ask them if they have a content creator code and they might, and you can definitely help them out because like I said, for us small content creators, it is huge. It is awesome. And it really does make a difference. So thank you very much, all of you who are supporting me. I really appreciate it. And if you don't have someone, uh, I really do need that. I really do need a, like a, why not do you, J2? I need a graphic that'll pop up. Anyway, let's talk about this week. So what do we have new this week? This is it. <laughs> the Highland Warrior Wildcat, who actually showed up yesterday afternoon. Now, something else that I do want to talk about is, yes, it has been confirmed. The llamas are switching apparently every six hours. So whenever we have like in two and a half hours, this llama will change. Now, I've only seen it happen once. I've only been online to see it once. And I was like, oh, that llama did change. I don't know if it happens every six hours. I don't know if it happens. Every, I don't know what's going on. But this, this right here, th this, this right here, this change right here is part of the things that I'm going to do a little bit of a rant on because this is pretty awesome. It's a really awesome change that I wish we would have been told about. Okay, so hold on to that thought. All right, let's take a quick look. So in the item shop, what do we have? We still have these guys. Don't forget that these guys, along with um, Snuggle Specialist Sarah, will be around till version 8.2. 8.20, which will probably happen in about two, three weeks, maybe. So when 8.2 comes along, these guys, they said they will be removed and we're going to get a new group. I just realized that we also have Flux here. And drops of rain. Wait, did we have that here before too? Wait, did we have flux and drops of rain and all the evolvement? Ooh. 
Okay, so I'm gonna have to get myself this. That's 150 lightning in the bottle. That's gonna be 50 storm shards. How many drops of rain? 41 left. 410. Wow. And 300 legendary flux. Okay, I'm gonna have to get these. I'm gonna have to get these because I didn't realize that these were over here. So let's talk about the shop right now. If you haven't gotten these guys yet, I would recommend you get him. If you want to do the floating thing, Lynx Cassandra is the one that does it for you. If you want the triple or quad jump with the, the Mantis Leap with uh, the ninjas, you need Wukong. Uh, Snuggle Special Sarah List, Sarah List, <laughs> Snuggle Specialist Sarah has Tail of the Dragon. Very important if you do like, you know, playing with ninjas. So I highly recommend that you get these. Now, in my case, I'm not going to get Wukong anymore. Why am I not going to get Wukong? Because I already have two of them. If we go check out my Wukongs, I have one Wukong here who's at level 130 and I have one at level 20. You only need two guys. You only need two of every single hero now. One to use, one for your collection book. You don't need more heroes than that. Like I said, maybe one day in the future they may make it so that if you have extras, you can put the extra ones into your main one, increase his abilities. I don't know. Something like that would be great because we are going to obviously get multiples of heroes in the future and as we progress. So I'm hoping they're going to do something like that. Um, so definitely if you if you still have it if you still haven't gotten these uh, Grind that gold because right now gold is not that hard to get right now So definitely go for the gold get those heroes even if you're not using them right now You don't know what changes are going to be done in the future because I guarantee you I guarantee you that we are going to see hero changes. We're gonna see balance changes Perk changes it has to happen the the, the hero loadout just happened and like I said before, even if they tested it out, even if they tried it out, it's very different trying it out in a small group of people compared to having tens of thousands, over hundreds of thousands of people trying things. They're going to find bugs. They're going to find issues. And I am sure there will be rebalancing issues. So why not get them? It's just gold. It's just, you know, you got to play, get the gold and do it. Now over on the weekly items, if you don't have Highland Warrior Wildcat, she is going to be a pull the pin if you put her as a standard perk, you know, supporting another commander decreases frag grenade energy cost by 33%. And if you use her as your commander perk <laughs> decreases frag grenade energy cost by 83%. That is huge. Um, I'm not good with frag grenades, so I'm not going to be using her, but that's just me. Uh, regardless, I already have one. I'm going to buy her as well. I'm going to get her as well because I need one for my collection book over here on the other things. As always, this is what I recommend. Always get the token armor, the sorry, the armory slots first and foremost. Then I get the reperk. Then I get the uncommon and rare perk up. And after that, I go for the pure drops of rain, lightning bottle, eye of the storm, storm shards. And finally, now because we do have more things that we're upgrading and using in rarity, I get the legendary flux. So all of that will cost you just getting this stuff. It'll cost you about, I think it's just under 5,000. So definitely a solid week's worth of, you know, gold getting will get you that. But now we have beta storms and all that, which is wonderful. So you can definitely get gold from there as well. So that's it. That's it for the weekly items. We didn't get anything else new. Uh, we still have the love storm, which actually I'm going to start. What did that say? Whoa. Okay. That's an interesting riff there. Uh, it's an interesting guitar chord. Uh, I'm definitely going to start working on the love store uh, storm story story soon. So probably in the next few days, you get, <coughs> excuse me, you guys may start seeing videos of me going through that. I'm probably just going to do like the, <coughs> the summaries that I've done before, before, <coughs> excuse me. And also I will be releasing some videos about the hero quest. As you guys can see, I already finished the first four. That video will be coming out soon and we'll be going along with that. So now. Now that we got that out of the way, we've talked all about the hero loadout, the, the sorry, the, um, the version 8.0.1 patch update that we had. Let's talk a little bit about this. Now, this is not going to go very long because I probably will talk about this in a much longer rant video uh, or a let's talk video. But really, really quick, I just want to say if anyone at Epic Games is watching, if anyone out there at Epic Games, if you're watching, um, you know what, guys? I gotta say this, 
the way that you talked about the the um, the, the the mantis sleep you know the whole reset thing it was great it was good that you addressed it that way i understand that you know it wasn't the intention of you guys to have the game like that and yes allowing that to stay in the game would have made the ninjas a little too overpowered in that sense but at the same time you know people would couldn't really it's not fair if you can't really use it in all the heroes like that or if you don't have a specific hero to have that i was actually talking with someone today and they said what about a superhero you know if we had superheroes in the future why not give a superhero a perk that ha gives them that capacity you know that's a wonderful idea so i appreciate how they handled it i appreciate how they addressed it but i gotta say this i gotta say this epic games there are so many bugs in the game and of course it makes sense version 8.0 just came out there's gonna be a lot of bugs there's gonna be a lot of problems in the game uh just a few that we've mentioned that i've mentioned and i've talked a lot about a lot of my streams and in my videos is the wall for the for the blasters which apparently was fixed uh, the whole weird thing that was happening with the smashers where they were disappearing or reappearing or you couldn't really attack them. Um, and the another thing was like with the with the presence, whenever you did a storm chest, how one present would appear in front of you and then the other one would appear like like down like the down the wall or something, you know, it was kind of weird how things were happening. Also, we were experiencing this that sometimes if you like drop the weapon for someone to try or something, it would appear above you. It, it was very odd. So there there are definitely things like that. A, a big game-breaking thing that I do hope they changed was the random getting kicked out of missions. I experienced that quite a few times last week on my streams and everyone who watched can can uh, can you know can say they saw that. I was just playing and doing whatever and get kicked out. Like completely get kicked out of the mission. If I was playing with others, I could rejoin one of them, you know, whoever became the commander in that in that or the the whoever had the lead in that case but issues like that big issues like that um like for example we know well someone i tried it i think it's confirmed other people have confirmed it as well that they did fix the blaster issue let's just take that for a lot of who you who don't know what that is sometimes when you saw a blaster you went to attack it or you were running towards it or away from it it was like you hit an invisible wall you hit this invisible wall, wall and you'd be kind of like running in place or kind of couldn't really move and it was very difficult and quite annoying actually and kind of dangerous if you were actually engaged in battle with other enemies or other husks so something like that something that is definitely a problem a bug in the game and apparently was fixed but you didn't say anything epic games you, you didn't tell us you know, it was wonderful how the patch notes were done. It was great how you guys explained the whole jumping thing. Wonderful. But I am sure, I am sure, uh, I, you know what? I'm sure that there must have been some people out there who opened the ticket saying that the jumping thing was a bug. I'm sure it happened. And I know, I know a lot of people are like, oh no, why would anyone do that? You know what? Some people just are, you know, want the integrity of the game to maintain. I didn't do it. I, I, I very rarely um, report anything anymore just because I've never really gotten any confirmation that, you know, it's been listened to. I should, though, whenever there's a big problem, I should really open a ticket every single time. But I'm sure some I'm sure a handful of people, if not a few more, did report the jumping thing. I know for a fact that a lot of people reported the the blaster, the the red eyes, invisible wall thing. So if you had just a couple of people who said something about the jumping thing, but you saw it, you saw people making videos about it, you saw people talking about it, you saw all the talk about it on Reddit, etc., etc., and you chose to address it. And you know what? Like I said, again, you did well. You, you, the way you addressed it, the way you talked to us about it in the patch notes was awesome. But another issue like the blasters and the invisible wall and the fact that it just, it's, it's it fixed now? Is is it fixed? Did it get fixed? Did it not get fixed? We don't know. We don't know. So it'd be wonderful if if you guys were to acknowledge that there was a problem and or if it doesn't get fixed, acknowledge it. Acknowledge that there is a problem in the game, you know? Just say, hey, we know that this is happening. We're working on it. Uh, a tweet would be great. A post on Reddit, you know, there could be there could be a mega thread 
just locked just for you guys on Epic and just saying, you know what, we've received and confirmed that there is a problem with the with the gift boxes. We've received and confirmed that there's a problem with this trap. We've received and confirmed that there's a you know problem with the blasters and this invisible wall. Just something like that so we know it. And then in the patch notes, not even the patch notes, you can address it in Reddit, you can send out a tweet and be like, hey, we fixed that. Just you we know that you guys are working hard. We know it. And something that I will, you know, have to also bring up and I have to say this is so many people that I've seen today say ever since the morning, so many people saying, you know what? They took away the fun thing in the game and they ignore all the other problems. No, I don't believe that. I don't believe that they're ignoring the problems. I, I We can see that they are working on them. They are working on fixing things in the game. They're just not communicating with us that they A, identify the issue and B, solve it as well. So just for the future, I know I'm just one little voice, you know, in a sea of voices, but it would be wonderful if we just had a slight tweet, a post on Reddit, just a single line in the patch note saying blaster invisible while fixed. If you guys wanted to get deeper into it and kind of explain what was causing it or even more in-depth explanations like you did with the with the whole jumping thing, that'd be great too. Uh, personally for me, I love that. <laughs> you guys know I love that kind of in-depth explanation stuff. So I I would I would I would welcome that. But that's just me. I hope rant over if i need to I, I will talk more about this and other bugs and things that i've seen in the future i do feel like i want to you know uh jump into it a little deeper but i don't want to make this video super long thanks a lot for watching guys as always i am duj2 again thank you so very much all of you using my creator code thank you you guys are amazing i so appreciate you thank you very much if you enjoy this video if you enjoy what i do on my channel please do me a huge favor and have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you guys next time. See ya.